So Avengers Endgame was re-released, and if you guys think that the post credit scene, which was featuring Hulk, was actually stupid and made no sense, then you really need to stick around and watch this video, because I'm going to break it down. So the Russos and Kevin Feige actually promised something very good in the end. And if you guys think that the post credit scene was not good, if you end up seeing Joe Russo or Anthony Russo on the street, this is what you'll probably do to the poor guy. Or guys, you never know. But don't worry, the post credit scene isn't actually as dumb as you think it is. Do not think that you wasted your money, no. I know you expected something like... Iron Man in the Soul Stone, in the Soul World, meeting his daughter, or Galactus cameo, such as trying to, you know, eat some of the planets or things like that, but we saw Professor Hulk. Now, other than Hulk, we did get to see some Spider-Man Far From Home footage, which may actually be promoting Spider-Man Far From Home coming up this month, that is next month, very soon. We also saw something like a phone commercial, but I would like to talk about this Professor Hulk thing because Mark Ruffalo once on Jimmy Kimmel Live revealed that there was one particular scene wherein the Hulk busts out of a tank. So we predicted that busting out of the tank may indicate that Professor Hulk was first introduced. So this may be one of those scenes where Professor Hulk was actually first introduced. Also, he gets a phone call at one particular time in this footage, which I'll talk about in a bit. But notice his right arm. It's completely healed. So there are two possibilities. One thing is that his injury has healed. But the Russo brothers revealed that this injury is permanent. Therefore, it has to be something from the past. And I think that a phone call he gets is a phone call from Captain America when they needed a bigger brain than Tony Stark's. They had to contact Bruce Banner to inquire about the quantum realm and therefore they did that. Also, this particular scene has incomplete CGI because it was not meant to be included in the movie, but since it was supposed to be a gift for all those who paid to watch Endgame once again, this scene was indeed included. It just shows him saving a couple of kids from danger and that's it, nothing else. And one last thing, if you guys do enjoy short daily uploads, then do consider subscribing by clicking on this icon and not for click on either of you just continue watching. I still believe in superheroes. Do you?